Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, we're back with a um, we're back with a DraftKings and FanDuel main slate um, video. I was trying to get out some early videos, but my um, internet isn't cooperate cooperating with us today, so I'm only going to be able to do the main slates. So um, last night uh, I did okay, and that's only because I happen to um I happen to have a lineup with um Stanton and Judge and a few other Yankees in it but um the Astros did absolutely nothing so we're gonna go back to the Astros again because I don't see them wet in the bed um two two nights in a row so with that being said um, let's get on with the program. So, picture number one. We're gonna look for Ranger Suarez. We're targeting um, Chicago today. Picture number two, Sean Mania. At catcher. At catcher, 2.9K. We're gonna pick up. Martin Maldonado from Houston. I don't roster him often. When I don't roster him, he goes off. So hopefully he goes off today. First base, 3.7K. Trey Mancini. Second base, Jose Altuve. Like I said, we're going back to the Astros. They're not going to wet the bat twice in a row. They're too good. Um, third base, Alex Bregman. Shortstop, Carlos Correa. Outfielder, Jordan Alvarez. As you can see, we're not playing today. We're getting the heart of the lineup. Outfielder. 3.5k from Boston. Anthony 3.5. Let's scroll down. Anthony Santander. And to round up, round up, round off this lineup, 3.2k. Austin Hayes. Alright, so I'm never too upset when I have to roster on Boston, but they help. They help with the team construction of this lineup so it fits perfectly so I'm confident in this lineup um, providing everybody starts and the lineup stays this way then we're good to go if not you know the drill we'll meet in the comments and we'll uh, find a replacement so this is going to be our first team stack for DraftKings Ranger Suarez, Sean Manaya, Martin Maldonado, Trey Mancini, Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, Carlos Correa, Jordan Alvarez, Anthony Santander, and um, Austin Hayes. Alright, let's clear this out. Let's get our non stack in. Picture number one. We're going back to Ranger Suarez to start. Picture number two. Julio Urias. Catcher. My guy that I did not play yesterday. Should be ashamed of myself. Salvador Perez. First base, another one of my guys, Brad Miller. Second base, another guy that's been losing his mind lately, Javi Baez, who hit a rocket last night. Third base, Phil Goslin. 
2.8K. 2.8K bat in third against Dallas Keiko, who isn't the greatest right now. So he's definitely um, integral for uh, roster construction. Shortstop back to Carlos Correa. Outfielder Bryce Harper, National League MVP, front runner. Second outfielder, DJ Peters, 2.5K. And we're going to round this off. 3K flat. Outfielder, New York Mets. Against Sean Lester. Um, I'm going to say Kevin Pillar smacks one off of Lester tonight. We got... Ranger Suarez, Julio Urias, Salvador Perez, Brad Miller, Javi Baez, Phil Goslin, Carlos Correa, Bryce Harper, DJ Peters, Kevin Pilar. That's um that's a very good lineup. Because of the matchups, because of the power, because of the upside from the, the low salary guys. This is this is how you make a lineup. This is how you this is how you construct a lineup. There's no really weak links in here. The only real issue is, I would say is that um, Kevin Pillar back seven, so he's at the bottom of that lineup. But that just means he's going to be low on. So he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't need much to pay off his price tag. So always remember that. All right, so let's switch over to Fanduel. And let me pull up. Let me run a fresh crunch for um, Fanduel. Like I said yesterday, um, every time you crunch, most of the players will stay the same. But de depending on people that's starting, not starting, sitting, injuries, all that other stuff, sometimes you might get new players that um, project high. So it's always good to crunch often and double check the best lineups. So, for our pitcher, we're going to go to Tyler Miguel. Miguel. First base, 2.4K. Brad Miller. Second base. Are the Albies third base? Austin Riley. Let me tell you something. When you get when you're when you're when you're um, making a stat and you're able to get in Phillies and Braves, it's going to be a good day. Shortstop. Two point five K. D.D. Gregorius, outfielder, Bryce Harper, two point nine K. McCutcheon. Usually they go off together. That's what you're looking for tonight. Third outfielder, 3.4K. Jorge Soler. And Utility. We're going to go get the powerhouse of the Braves. Freddie Freeman. So, last week I messed up. I didn't play any Tyler McGill. He went off. 
Um, you got Brad Miller, Ozzy Albies, Austin Riley, Didi Gregorius, Bryce Harper, Andrew McCutcheon, Jorge Soler, Freddie Freeman. You got the best bats from both teams. I don't really know. How can you um, complain? So, uh, I'm definitely, this is definitely one of my main lineups, and I'm definitely playing this, this, um, this stat right here. Okay, with that being said, let's get into our non-stat. And run a good fresh crunch. Yep. I'm going to go back to Tyler McGill. This is not a um, pitching pool today that's, you know, filled with scholars. So, if you're comfortable with a mid-range, mid-priced pitcher, go for it. All right. Tyler McGill. Back to Brad Miller. Brad Miller pops because he's high upside with low salary. Second base, 3.5K. Kettle Marte, third base. Jose Ramirez, shortstop. Two point eight K We yeah, roster with any of these Mets infielders. Um anytime you have the opportunity to just roster them because they're hit they're hitting everything. They're hitting everything. So while they're hot, you know, stay on them. Alright, outfielder, we're going to my guy, three point five K. From Chicago, Frank Schwindel never lets me down. Outfielder, National League MVP frontrunner, Mr. Consistent, Bryce Harper. His teammate, guy hit a home run like in the first first inning yesterday. Goes off, he goes off when I recommend him. Makes me look good. Abdubo Herrera, another low low salary, um, high upside guy, and then we're gonna round this off with Freddie Freeman again. I don't really get a chance to roster him, but um, you see, you got 3.9k. I'm gonna have one lineup with Freeman, and I'm gonna have one lineup with um, Salvador Perez. You guys, you know, a little bit of switching and swapping, and you get any of these um high salary guys. And what I, you know, that's the beauty of DFS. You know, it's like an art. You just create it how you want to create it. Um, this is a solid lineup, and like I said, you need low salary guys. Herrera, Miller. To help get these big bats in here, these big price bats in here. That's that's called roster construction. Plus, our pitcher is low salary for a pitcher, high upside. So that's how you're able to get a lineup like this. So that's how we're gonna go today. So um, with that being said, um, that's the end of the video. Um, if you're new here, um, if you found any of this information helpful. Uh, subscribe so you know when I uh, drop another video um, like the video so YouTube knows that you um, enjoyed it and will recommend it to other people because um, we're trying to we're trying to grow the team we're trying to we're trying to grow the channel um, like I said the reason behind this, this channel is I've been I've been you know profiting off of DFS for the last few years but my goal now is to help you know, newer players and people that don't really understand it, 
you know, help them be profitable. Because when I when I started in 2015, I was just throwing money throwing money in the trash, and that's what I'm trying to help you not do. All right, so um, that's about it. That's the the end of the video, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And good luck.